Hello, how are you today? I am going to try another wing pour. This time I'm going to be using a blue base. I did mix up a couple of different shades of blue. Um, I have cyan blue. And there's actually turquoise in here as well as iridescent blue-green. Um, all by Pebeo. And then I have another quite a variety of other colors. I'm going to try to do like a silver white um, with maybe a little bit of gray. So I did mix up some Liquitex iridescent granite. This is one of my new favorite colors. I have Artist Loft silver and Artist Loft metallic white. And then I have DecoArt Metallics Pearl, and then also a mixture of DecoArt's Metallic Pearl, two parts to one part, 24 karat gold. And it's kind of this champagne color. I'm not sure I'm going to use it, but I, I might. I don't know. I'll have to decide as I'm layering my cup. I don't know if it's going to go with with all those. Maybe it will. Maybe we'll add it in there. Um, I am going to use a little bit more paint than I did last time. Oops, sorry, my camera shifted. There we go. Is that better? Um, I am going to use uh, mix more in my cup this time because last time I don't think I used nearly enough paint. Uh, so yeah, here I go. I'm going to layer this up here. How am I going to do this? I never know how to layer my cup. Hmm. I think I'm going to start with a bit of gold. <laughs> Just because that seems to be the thing to do. Pearl. White. Silver. Granite. And I'm going to put in a little bit of my base color. <clears throat> Just repeat that. <clears throat> Pardon me. Okay. We are just coming to the end of a big snowstorm. I didn't leave my house at all today because it's really nasty out there. They've closed the highways, they've closed the schools for tomorrow. Not that I have school-aged children anymore, but I forgot to put my gold in there. Oh well, it's okay. Interesting color. Hopefully this will look nice. I'm using two of my favorite colors, the Deco Arts Pearl and the Liquitex Iridescent Granite. So hopefully it'll look nice. I did mix my paint just a slightly bit thinner, not a whole lot, it's still pretty good mound on a mound but not as thick as last time. OK, 
I forgot to put blue in that last layer. Oh well. interesting color. It's quite pretty actually mixed together with pearl. Okay. I'll put the rest of this granite in since it's just hanging out there. This type of pouring does seem to take up a lot of paint compared to Dutch pours. Dutch pours, I mean, they require quite a bit of base paint, but the colors, you hardly use anything at all, it seems, compared to pours that require a thicker paint consistency. Sorry, I'm not sure why my camera keeps turning. Put that down. Okay, what am I doing? Oh, yeah. Put a little bit of this down, use this up. Paint quantity aside, I am having a lot of fun doing different things. Putting the brain to the test, working on a different techniques and stuff. try different things every once in a while. I'm expecting that I'm going to get some different cell action this time because I'm using the Deco Arts Metallics. Those usually provide some pretty good cells, but you never know. Could be completely wrong. <laughs> I'm really glad I added that gold though. That's really pretty. This blue I was hoping would be a little bit more turquoise. I used probably three parts of the cyan blue, two parts of the turquoise, and one part of the iridescent blue-green. But it looks almost cobalt blue, which is fine. I think I'm going to be dumping most of this off anyway, except for the little bits that are in the actual pour. Okay. Oh, maybe I should 
a torch. There's some bubbles here. Okay, got fuel back in the torch and let it sit for a few minutes to stabilize. And now we're going to take care of these bubbles. There we go. Okay. I'm going to get rid of this weird end. Okay, I've got a a lot of paint this time. Definitely not going to run out of paint, I don't think. I'm not sure this one's going to look very wing-like today. You know, the colors are really nice. I really like that um, blue combination with the granite. I should have used a lot more white though, I think. I just bluged a big drop on my floor. <laughs> Well, this is definitely not what I envisioned. And I'm not even sure I know what I'm doing anymore, but it is really pretty. <laughs> I don't know. Did 
Does it have to look like anything? I mean, I don't know. I don't know what it looks like. <laughs> The colors are amazing. Like it's this really soft gold champagne color with this bright blue that m melds in with that granite and looks like a beautiful tra transparent teal color almost. I like it. It's not what I would call necessarily a win for, but it's definitely not anything that I've done, Look, doesn't look like anything I've done before either, so that's kind of interesting in itself. When you create something that's kind of cool, but different than your normal, normal suspects. See, you got a big shadow in the corner over here, so I'll bring you in for a close-up. Torch it first. Ugh, gosh, messy. <laughs> Way messier than I'm used to, too. shimmer from all the metallics and iridescence that I used but it is pretty that granite almost took on a brown sheen or brown hue next to the gold and pearl mixture very earthy looking though love what these cells are doing right here. I think this is my favorite part right here. Sorry for the reflection from my overhead pendant light. This is actually really cool over here too. I quite like it. Different. Let me know what you think in the comments. Thanks for hanging out.